once being an extremely popular sports commentator on YouTube, EDP445 is now known for being a creep to his young fans. He's actually delusional. He's a fucking delusional freak. What EDP did is unforgivable. He should be counting his lucky stars. He's not in jail. So what brings you out here today? Oh, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake. It's no secret that monsters are hiding among us, but some are hiding in plain sight, right in front of millions of people. EDP445 is one of them. EDP is a YouTuber with over 2 million subscribers who lost everything after he was caught trying to pick up a cupcake. But the story of EDP goes so much deeper than you think. There's more to the story than just him being exposed. From the memes that he created to his repeated comebacks, EDP's cancellation is unlike anything the internet has seen before. Make sure you guys stay till the end because we'll be exploring never before seen details on the EDP saga and some are guaranteed to surprise you. So sit back, relax, and grab a cupcake because we're starting this wild story from the very beginning. The origin story. I'm gonna tell you how it is and I'm gonna tell you how it goes. I told y'all, I told y'all before, I rap about food. I ran out of words. Before EDP 445, there was only Bryant Moreland, the man behind the YouTube channel. Back in high school, Bryant was already known for his rowdy personality. In a Skype interview from 2012, he admitted kicking through a glass fish tank just to impress a girl. Because of this, Bryant ended up getting knee surgery and was in a wheelchair. After graduating high school, Bryant was unemployed, but instead of getting a job, he created his YouTube channel on June 13th, 2010. From that point on, Bryant became known to the world as Eat That P 445. I come up with shit that's out of the ordinary and I don't stick with boring ass lame names. At that time, EDP got into a pattern of uploading whatever he felt like. He uploaded rap videos, vlogs, even cooking videos. His content didn't have a clear direction, but EDP's brand finally began taking shape when he uploaded American football commentary. On November 16th, 2010, EDP EDP uploaded the video, 5928 Eagles Kill the Redskins, which became the first out of a thousand plus videos where he talked about the Philadelphia Eagles. Since then, he became known as one of the biggest Eagles fans. But EDP's personality was the thing that really set him apart. His videos were almost never edited. Everything he said was unfiltered, unlike a lot of big YouTubers today. Besides the Eagles, EDP would share a lot about his personal life, making YouTube his own personal diary. It was this unfiltered approach to YouTube that kept his fans coming back for more. Regardless of all this, EDP was still pretty much unknown. EDP 445 was just another YouTube channel among millions of others. But one year later, EDP got his first big break as a YouTuber. In 2011, the Philadelphia Eagles were facing their longest losing streak since 1968. Their performance was so bad that the Philadelphia City Paper even made a video to talk about it. This video gave EDP his first taste of mainstream exposure. Throughout the video, the Philadelphia City Paper used clips of EDP crediting him as an independent football analyst. His reaction perfectly captured what it felt like to be an Eagles fan at the time. Even with the exposure from this video, EDP still had less than 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2012. But in 2013, something happened that would change the entire course of EDP's YouTube career. Feels good to be famous. On November 13th, 2013, EDP appeared in front of 1.8 million viewers on national TV. TV. He was featured on Tosh.0, a TV series that aired on Comedy Central where he predicted the outcome of an NFL game. It wasn't long before EDP became a TV regular. And I turn to the NFL's official odds maker, EDP. 445. EDP regularly appeared as a guest on Tosh.0 and the constant exposure on national TV helped EDP's channel grow. On top of this, EDP kept posting on YouTube. Over the years, EDP's unfiltered approach got his channel banned multiple times and his videos demonetized, but he didn't care. And in 2015, EDP's carefree posting finally paid off. That year, the Philadelphia Eagles traded their player Sean McCoy. In response, EDP released an angry rant on YouTube. And this video exploded loaded in popularity. Both ESPN and MTV covered EDP's reaction. During this time, EDP saw his subscriber count more than triple, going from 20,000 subscribers in 2014 to 70,000 subscribers by the end of 2015. EDP was no longer the small YouTuber he once was, but his success didn't stop at YouTube. That same year, EDP also found work as a security guard. Thanks to this job, he met popular rapper Tyler the Creator. The two of them became fast friends, and Tyler hired EDP to make content for his app, Golf Media. 
Even though EDP's YouTube content wasn't monetized, EDP was still able to establish himself as a successful content creator. But as his YouTube channel grew, so did his controversies, and it wasn't long before these controversies would catch up to him. And if you know about EDP, you know what comes next. Exposing a monster. Before we talk about EDP's tragic downfall, I want to tell you guys about a tool that can help you learn more for less than half the price of a school textbook, brilliant.org. I wasn't the brightest kid in school. I had to study twice as hard as the kid next to me just to pass my classes because the method of a teacher speaking at me wasn't effective. But Brilliant is a completely different way of learning math, data science, and computer science because it's interactive. And interactive learning is six times more effective than passive learning like listening to your teachers. We all learn at different speeds, and Brilliant's guided lessons let you explore concepts at your own pace. And if you get stuck on a problem, you have step-by-step -step guidance to guide you through it. I focused on the writing algebra course because I absolutely dreaded that class. But Brilliant made it easier for me to understand because the lessons are visual so you can see step-by-step -step how the problems are solved. To try everything Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash visualventure. The first 200 of you guys will get 20% off Brilliant annual premium subscription. Click the link to get started and thank you to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. EDP's unapologetic nature was a magnet for drama. He was always testing the boundaries of YouTube's content guidelines and uploading videos that put his channel at risk. In 2017, YouTube suspended him for two weeks. When he came back, he officially changed his channel name from EatThatP445 to EDP445. But it wasn't just the platform that EDP had issues with. He also had drama with other YouTubers. His beef with Super Mario Logan got his channel banned again. But despite the controversies, EDP's growth was unstoppable. And on February 12th, 2020, he finally achieved what almost every YouTuber dreams of, 1 million subscribers. But this milestone wasn't without drama either because YouTube refused to send EDP his gold play button. They will not send me my gold play button, right, for reaching 1 million subscribers because according to them, my channel doesn't match the criteria. EDP was so well loved by his viewers that one fan even made a custom YouTube play button and sent it to him. Congratulations on surpassing 1 million subscribers. But the support he received from his fans would soon be put to the test because EDP was about to face his biggest controversy yet. In July 2020, rumors started to spread that EDP was sending messages in an inappropriate way. On July 9th, he uploaded a video addressing these messages messages. While EDP's fans believed him, this video didn't convince everyone. In the days following EDP's explanation, YouTuber Cold Raven uploaded multiple videos calling EDP out. He even showed screenshots of EDP's inappropriate behavior. But even after showing evidence, a lot of viewers dismissed Cold Raven's video as clout chasing. EDP's fan base was gonna support him no matter what. So Cold Raven kept gathering evidence about EDP's behavior. And this time, it paid off. One of Cold Raven's subscribers set up a fake Instagram Instagram account posing as someone else. Using the account, the subscriber baited EDP successfully. Cold Raven then uploaded a video, but this time with more concrete evidence. EDP responded by creating a video titled, My Response to Cold Raven, where he pulled back a slide of a pistol to threaten Cold Raven, but EDP's threat didn't work. Things heated up when Keemstar from Drama Alert invited EDP and Cold Raven to a show. EDP didn't show up, but Cold Raven was happy to spread the word about EDP. With mountains of evidence stacked up against him, EDP was starting to crack. Cold Raven succeeded in getting EDP to show the world the kind of person who he really was. By the end of 2020, EDP was caught eight times. He still kept uploading his usual content, but people beyond the NFL YouTube community started to take notice. It was a miracle that EDP wasn't canceled after months of evidence was brought to light. But miracles only last for so long because in 2021, EDP was gonna lose everything. The infamous cupcake incident. Well, fist bump? I don't fist bump people like you, man. Okay, honest. so. Okay. The cupcake incident was the moment that killed EDP's YouTube career. On April 18th, 2021, EDP was on his way to pick up a cupcake. But when he arrived at the meeting place, he was confronted by a vigilante group. When they confronted him, EDP used the excuse of picking up a cupcake. So what brings you out here today? Go ahead. Well, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake. This excuse would go down in YouTube history as one of the most infamous moments on the platform. There are like 
like countless memes about this floating around. That's because this video went viral. The video recording of this incident was uploaded on April 20th, 2021 by Chet Goldstein, one of the members of the YouTube channel. Now, millions of viewers had their eyes on EDP. From big YouTubers like Moist Critical to major news outlets like Yahoo News, EDP's reputation crashed down in flames. In the days following the cupcake incident, EDP made all his videos private, but his effort in privating over a thousand videos on his channel went to waste because on April 27th, 2021, YouTube deleted his channel. While the sting operation led to the end of EDP's YouTube career, it didn't bring justice. The biggest development is absolutely the authorities getting involved and saying that they are going to look into the case but they also acknowledge that it could be a bit difficult given that this is a not a very well-conducted investigation by people that are less than professional. With law enforcement struggling to file the findings as evidence, EDP was never arrested, so he was determined to build his career back as a content creator. But as long as EDP wasn't behind bars, the internet wasn't gonna let him off the hook. EDP versus the internet and he was evicted from an apartment complex not too far from here, and now he's staying here. Spread the word, you know, it's not safe for him to be here, and people in this town hate him. There's a lot of people upset. EDP found out the hard way that being canceled meant more than just losing your YouTube channel. He was being harassed both online and in real life. EDP jumped from platform to platform, and he was finding it harder and harder to find someone that would hire him. With his channel deleted, EDP turned to Facebook. There, he announced his future content that would be uploaded on EDP445.com, a website he planned on launching. EDP also took this chance to call out the Vigilante YouTube channel, but this was a big mistake. By bringing attention to the cupcake situation, Facebook quickly deleted his page. EDP tried his luck on other major platforms, but each time he made an account, users reported him and EDP got banned. During our research, we found out that after the cupcake incident in 2020, EDP was banned a total of 15 times across different platforms. EDP stubbornly fought to revive his career as a content creator, but the internet fought back, refusing to give him a platform. EDP eventually found success on Beagle Live and TikTok, two platforms that are known for their young audience. On Beagle Live, EDP had a lot of live streams. But on TikTok, EDP actually made a comeback. He succeeded in reaching 1 million followers in January 2023. But one month later, he was banned on TikTok. But even after being canceled, he always found ways to remain relevant. Videos of him saying controversial things were always picked up by major content creators. Every few months for the last couple of years, like clockwork, he will try and come back to the internet. He's just this silly villain that keeps popping up every now and then just for people to laugh him off the face of the internet but he'll always come back as a cameo in later episodes. EDP was always putting himself out there publicly, which made him a target for harassment. He found work as a Lyft driver only to be spotted and lose his job. The harassment was so bad that EDP even changed his name legally. He was also believed to be struggling financially. People online tracked down the car that he owned and found out that he sold it, as well as some of his belongings, including his YouTube play button. One thing I just wanna, you know, mention to you guys, whoever decides to buy it, this uh, this wood right here on the side is a little bit chipped. And if things couldn't get worse, he's also believed to be facing kidney failure. He posted a photo of dialysis on Instagram and posted a tweet addressing those that believe he's faking it. EDP is having a rough time. And on July 7th, 2023, EDP uploaded a video saying that he's seeking treatment. I'm taking full responsibility, full accountability for my actions. I am terribly sorry for the pain, the anguish, hurt that I've caused multiple people. EDP's apology video caught a lot of people by surprise, including me because I was literally creating the video at the time of his apology. While EDP isn't paying for his crimes in prison, it looks like the internet won. EDP finally changed, or at least that's what he wants you to think. EDP's dirty secret. Do you guys think EDP really changed? He apologized, but was it genuine? Some of the dirt that we recently uncovered might say otherwise. Our speculation is that every controversy after the cupcake incident was geared toward one goal, to drive traffic to his website. At first glance, EDP445.com just looks like another personal website. EDP's videos are uploaded there, and there's a merch store as well. Nothing out of the ordinary, right? But when we checked the website's traffic, we were shocked. When we ran the website through similarweb.com, 
We found that EDP445.com has an average of almost 100,000 monthly visits. To put this in perspective, that's five times more traffic than Logan Paul's merch store. EDP's ability to stay relevant has seemingly turned EDP445.com into a successful e-commerce website. His website also has a section where visitors can pledge a monthly subscription ranging from $2 to $10 a month. While we don't have the exact data, with over 100,000 visitors each month, it's easy to imagine how much revenue he's potentially generating. EDP might not have the reputation he once had, but that doesn't matter. Every time he does something controversial, it benefits him. If you search EDP445 on Google, it's on the first page. It seems like that's what he's after, to get as many people to visit his website. Because as long as people are visiting, there's always a chance for more merch sales and more subscriptions, which means more revenue. EDP isn't just a content creator, he's a businessman. He even filed a trademark for his website. That's how serious he is about the platform platform he's created. He's able to run a successful website. But the real problem behind all this is that it encourages his inappropriate behavior because the more he stirs up controversy, the more people visit his website. And maybe, just maybe, it's intentional. EDP really did make a comeback and it's on a platform that he has complete control over. I don't know what the future holds for EDP, but I do hope that he's truly sorry and that he begins a new chapter in his life. And for you, if you see someone shady talking to your friends online, don't ignore it because it could possibly save their life. Visual Venture. Wait, before you go, please click this playlist right here to watch more dark internet documentaries because the algorithm is gonna promote my channel more if you guys watch multiple videos. Thank you honestly so much for being here. Love you guys a ton. Peace.